It's amazing how the season's themes are so relevant to what's happening right now in the world. That, that happens, that you're, you're working on something and wow, you wake up and there it is in the paper. There's a lot of reference to you know drug culture, gambling culture within the sporting industry. See how far POIs have made the front page? Accidental death. There are an awful lot of people who make a living by betting. And of course, any insider information that you might have can be the difference between making a lot of money and losing a lot of money. And, and there, are, there are, unfortunately, unscrupulous people out there who like to put a bit of money this way for a bit of information that way. When you start plotting for something like this, you often start with a single piece of investigation. We base a lot of our work on research. Uh, we have lots of detailed research from all sorts of areas uh, and we often try and use uh, reality as closely as possible um, and that's what makes them so interesting because it's actually real. If we lose by one, I'm going to feel like shit. But he never said why. Although he did say that he just found it really hard to say no to him. Ravi or Brandon? Mm, no, Clay. He was talking about Clay Nelson. Before, you used to be able to bet, for example, on whether someone was going to win or lose a game. Now you can bet on who's going to score the first try, who's going to get the first penalty, who's going to hit the first six. So I think betting is quite entrenched in all forms of sport now. We're also having a look at that, and I think that our audiences actually like to see real-life situations dramatised in shows like Janet King.